Hey guys, this is Andrew from Adronica.com and I'm taking a look at a beta application called Solid Explorer. Now this isn't the full version yet, but based off what we can tell so far, it's going to be pretty hard not to fall in love with this app. So let's take a quick look at some of the things you can do with Solid Explorer. All right, first let's start with the look of the app. Now, most file explorers and managers on Android are pretty ugly. This one is definitely not. Uh, you see the UI at the bottom. I can go to new and I cre create a new file or folder from uh, within the app. I can use it as an FTP client. I can also go to Cloud Connection, which links it to a Dropbox or Box.net account. Uh, and if I don't like the way this views, right now it's at a detailed view. It shows the folder and the last time it was uh, altered. I can go to view and then I can switch to grid maybe. So now I've got, you know, a folder view. It's a little more traditional depending on who you are. All right. Now you can look at actions. Uh, you can cut, copy, delete, all that stuff. You know, the usual stuff you can do multi. But what's cool about this is you can filter. So let's say I'm looking for a particular file, right? All right, I want to, let's say right now I can see circles.png, but let's see, I was uh, looking for something. All right, pretend you don't know there. I'll type dot .png, and then I'll switch from prefix to suffix. So now it shows me only the PNG files, so it's easier for me to do it that way. Or I can type circles, all right? And look, then the file name comes up. Uh, it's a really cool feature that I, I like and it works. Let's say I want to jump. I want to go specifically to the device, the onboard storage, or I can go to photos uh, and I've defined my photo folder to be uh, the DCIM folder so I can see uh, images that I've taken with my camera or some of the other camera apps. I can go into camera really quick, browse around, and I can go back. Alright, that's another nice feature. When I go to menu, you can see once again, search, I have sorting options, I have operations, and then I have bookmarks. So let's say there's a folder you you access often, you can bookmark it, and then later on when you need to get to your bookmarks, it's easy to get to that folder. Uh, now where you see file sharing, that's a pretty interesting one. Once I tap file sharing, uh, it creates uh, an FTP connection that I can go on my computer with and basically drag and drop files into it from the computer to this. It's really nice, it installs, uh, uh, basically establishes a connection between your phone and your computer and makes it very easy to do. Speaking of drag and drop, there are a couple of cool things that I really like about this app and one of them is multi-select and drag and drop. So these are icons right now, these are supposed to be in the, the root folder of my phone. But these are wallpapers and they're not supposed to be out here. So I'm going to tap this, this, this and this. These are all white wallpapers, I've selected five of them then uh, I can tap down on them and I can cut them and copy to them folder, right? But you can do that in pretty much every app. What's cool about this is if I hold on the icon side and then drag up, right? Let's go to the, and then I go to the wallpaper folder, you see, if I hold it over the wallpaper for a second, the phone vibrates to let me know I can drop it there. When I drop it, it moves these files. Some of these are already there, so I'm gonna skip for all of them. Remember, skip, and now those files are in the wallpaper folder just like that. There's also uh, two panes that you can use. So if you want to have two folder windows open at the same time, uh, let's say I want to go to my uh, Amazon MP3. Let me open that folder. Temp, it's empty, right? I want to copy something into that. So I'm going to go to, where can I copy into that? Where's my music folder? Uh, music, okay. I've got music. I'm going to drag common and I'm going to copy him over. Just like that, he's now in the Amazon MP3 folder. When I tap on that file, it asks me what I want to do to open it. I can set to always open Google Play Music. Tap on it. Just like that, I'm playing music. Pretty cool, huh? Earlier I mentioned that you can access your cloud services through Solid Explorer and that comes in handy because let's say I want to uh, access my box account, right? What I can do is just switch in the orientation really quick and now I've got these two panels. I'll tap on this one 
and I'll select jump network and then cloud storage and since I've authorized my box account to work with Solid Explorer it's going to connect into my box and from there I can do things like delete files, rename files and uh, change the files position. So let's say I want to download something from box to my my phone. All I have to do is drag and drop. Pretty easy to do, right? Uh, I drop, drag another one. Okay. Now watch what happens when I try to do it the other way. All right. It says, "Oops, Solid Explorer had a problem." I'm not sure what's causing that. Uh, it happens whenever I try to drag from my phone to Solid Explorer, but uh, whatever the reason, that seems to be an issue at the moment. Remember, this is a beta app.